What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another comic book video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some X-Factor comic books that were included in the 2000 lot that I purchased. I didn't realize I had so many X-Factor. I think there's about 50 X-Factor comics. So there's going to be two videos worth of this X-Factor. So I'm only going to do half of them today. And then in the future you'll see another video of more X-Factor comics. I'm gonna start off with this pile here. It's more newer ones, but honestly, I don't know what issues are there. I don't know if it's in order or anything like that. But let's just get straight into it and see what we have. The first one here is uh, Divided We Stand, issue 29. Now this comic here looks cool, but it's really rough. It's all torn, and for a newer comic, that to me is terrible was not taken care of whatsoever. Next, we have issue 133. Again, a little bit too new for me. I like more of the 80s personally, but it is a really nice cover. I do like the artwork, so I'm gonna have to decide if I wanna keep this one for myself uh, or if I do want to sell it. If you guys see in any of my comic book videos something that you're interested in, let me know. Uh, even if you're in the United States, I uh, can work out a deal with you or possibly a trade. Um, I just have to figure out, number one, if it's still available, if I haven't already sold it, or possibly if it's something that I want to keep in my collection. Obviously, I'm not going to want to sell it, but we can work something out. Next is issue 136. A lot going on, and this is uh, kind of a messy one. I like where it's kind of like simple covers, but really nice artwork. Uh, issue 127. I like that one, that one looks nice. I'm gonna try to angle it so there's no glare. Make it a little bit better for you guys. This one looks cool, I like it. Uh, 122, that looks really cool. That's interesting, I'm definitely gonna have to at least read this one. You look like, uh, it looks like Mystique is uh, terrified in the reflection there. Uh, this one here, I assume it's 120. One thing with the later 90s comics, uh, if it doesn't say the issue number, which sometimes they don't for whatever reason, in the barcode you can see it. So it says that it's issue 120. Uh, this one here, again it doesn't say, this is 119. Um, really weird, I don't know if it's one that's one of the side ones. It doesn't look like it, because the image is this way. Usually it'd be the other way if it was one of the side ones. Uh, this is 116. Interesting, but the late 90s is honestly not the stuff that interests me so much. It's more of the uh, mid 80s or any of the 80s, honestly. 60s, 70s, also hard to find those in good condition in my area. And uh, early 90s, but not the late 90s. Uh, this is 115. I like the artwork of them though. I'll give them that. The artwork of these are really interesting. It's just not what I like to collect. Uh, this is 114. I like that. I like that they change uh, the location of the uh, title of it all the time. Uh, these aren't bagged and boarded, by the way. You guys can tell that's 113. Some might be. I don't think any that are going to be in this video are going to be boarded, at least. 102. This is more of the stuff that I like, more of the stuff that I collect. Um, this is one of the original uh, titles instead of the 90s one where it's different. 98. A lot going on in that one. That's really cool. I like that. 93. Not too familiar with X Factor to be honest with you, but they are interesting at least. Uh, 83. I have no idea who this is. Comment down below if you know. Looks crazy right there. Cool though. The joy of collecting. You never know what you're gonna find whenever you purchase a huge lot. Now I did purchase this lot to resell, but some of it might be staying in my collection. I just right now don't know how much. This is 112. Interesting. 99. Ninety-four has a little wear uh, discoloring here. K 
Can't really tell on camera though. 87. A lot's going on here. That is cool. I like that. It's just neat. It looks cool. 82. So hoping for some earlier ones. Maybe in the next video. Maybe I split the a stack of them wrong. Should have done the other one first. Maybe it's older ones than that one. More what I collect. 79. Yeah, because we're working ourselves the wrong way. 77. I must say, they are interesting comics. It's just, I don't know too much about X Factor. X Force, X Men, yes, X Factor. Not really. None of the covers are really ones that it's like, oh, that has so-and-so on the cover, I need to keep that so far. I haven't found any of those. 72. But they are interesting covers. Like, I, I think before I sell these, I am gonna be looking to see exactly what there is, um, or read them maybe, some of them. And issue 60, that's the last one for this video. So, I don't know. Again, I'm not really into X-Factor. Um, I'm more into X-Force, X-Men, Spider-Man, other ones. Um, but they are interesting. In what I just shared with you, there's nothing that really stands out to me that I would want to keep in my collection. So if you're interested in any of it, let me know. But I will have this listed very soon. So before this video is even uploaded, it might already sell. I'll let you guys know. If you guys are interested, just let me know. But I am going to be doing part two for X Factor very soon. And as you guys see on the channel, there's a lot more comics to come. And I even have a lot of kind of expensive comics or more expensive comics that I'm going to be sharing that were included in this lot. And then after all of that, once I've went through most of the lot on camera with you guys, if you guys want to see some of the more lower end stuff mixed between Marvel, DC, just not popular stuff, if you want me to put a box right next to me and just start pulling stuff out, stuff that honestly I don't even know if I've went through yet, if you guys want to see that, that's going to be completely random comics in each of those videos. If you want to see that, let me know. But for the most part, I like whenever it's one video is X-Factor, one video is Spider-Man, things like that, because you guys do love that as well. So let me know if you guys want me just to pull out a box that I have not gone through and just start going through it on camera and seeing what exactly is there. I definitely could do that. But I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.